Polymorphism is another pillar of OOP that in my opinion is one of the greatest assets in a developer's toolbox. Polymorphism gives the developer the ability to swap out one implementation for another without the collaborator object actually caring of what kind of object it receives. As long as an object conforms to the interface required by the collaborator, it can be swapped out for another one freely. With some languages, this is primarily coupled with inheritance, stating that if you have class A with subclass B, and you have a method that expects A, you could pass B and it will use B's implementation for the given method. PHP does indeed allow this method, but it also allows for any kind of object to be swapped out. This is usually referred to as duck typing, which I'll cover more directly in a later episode. In short, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. We do the same with an object, with that if it looks like an object and it has the expected method of an object, it's probably the expected object. This sounds abstract when just speaking about it, so let's write an example real quick. We'll start with inheritance-based, or better known as subtype polymorphism, which is often considered the true polymorphism in OOP. You'll recognize some of these concepts from last episode. We'll get our usual boilerplate out of the way with requiring tableprinter.php, and then we'll define a base class named greeting. It's gonna have a single method, greet, which will accept one argument, name. And we're gonna use this to return hello name. Next, we'll make a class less formal greeting, which extends greeting. And it's going to overload the method to return sup name. Our third class is going to be named pirate greeting. And we'll also be extending greeting. Its definition of greet will read welcome aboard me matey name. Finally, to show an example of how these can be used interchangeably via inheritance based polymorphism, we'll define a function named greet, which will accept a greeting as its first argument and the name of the person as the second, which we will default to someone for simplicity. We'll have this use the past in greeter to greet name. Now let's get this ready to output some examples. Let's new up the table printer, and we'll pass in object and result as the headers. Next, we'll see how it looks when greeting base class is used with greet. We'll copy that and change the class name to less formal greeting, and we'll copy this again and we'll change it for pirate greeting. Then finally, we'll output the table. Now when we run the script, we can see that each one returns the intended result. The function didn't care which subclass of greeting it got, which is also a property of type hinting, and it simply used the object as it would use the base class. To show that this does not need to be done via inheritance, we'll clone this file into another one and remove all inheritance and type hinting. And now when we run the script, we can see that it works just as it did before. Thanks to duck typing, PHP could care less what kind of object is passed into the greet function as long as it has a greet method. We could ensure that the object passed in has a greet method if we type in it on an interface we define to have that method, but we'll cover that concept in a later episode. So while polymorphism may seem like an intimidating word, it's actually quite simple to understand conceptually. Some prefer you just use the term duck typing when referring to non-subtype polymorphism, but I'll leave that for you to decide when to use the given terms. Next episode, we're going to look at how we can manage our dependencies on more of a general level.